Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video, we'll start with Node.js. So we'll write our first code and we all know, right, when you start a new language, a new technology, the first thing you want to check is by printing hello world. That's the inauguration of that technology, right? Uh, even when you when you work on blockchain, the first thing I do is I print hello world. <laughs> okay, anyway, so when you, let's, let's write a code to print hello world on the console. So when I say console, I'm not talking about browser console, I'm talking about the command line. Uh, so we will write a JavaScript code which will run and it will print the output on the terminal of your machine or, CM, or the command prompt. Uh, that's that's interesting, right? So not just that, we'll also see how to add two numbers so that we can see that it's a it's a, we can write JavaScript code and you can add two numbers just to just to start with the code. Okay, so that's not our intention to learn how to add two numbers, but our intention is to check can we print hello world? Can we add two numbers? And then we'll build a simple HTTP service. See what happens is when you talk about Node.js, it is very famous in the world of backend development, right? And we need to see some code. Of course, that's not the code which we write on the person server, but at least we can get started. So without any ado, let's get started. So I will open my Visual Studio code. Uh, this is this is an IDE we are going to use. You can use any IDE which you prefer. Uh, in this, let me create a. F so let me just go to a terminal and let's do all this thing in a particular folder. So in my terminal, I will simply oh, first of all let me just increase size of the terminal. So in this terminal, I will say let me create a, fo a simple folder and we'll name this folder as let's say Node X, Node Examples, and let's switch to this particular folder. And in this folder, I want to get a file. Now, how do we do that? So just click here. And let's create, a, oh, we have to open that folder first, so open folder, okay, that's our folder, click on select folder, and here you will see your folder is open, let me close that. Now in this particular folder, which is node x, I want to create a, a file. See, the name of the file is not important, what is important is the extension. Now since we are working with node.js, where js is javascript, so the extension has to be javascript here. Uh, so let me create a file name called as app.js, you can go for any file name. Now, this is a very common uh, common name. Now the only thing I want to do here initially is I want to print hello world, right? So how do we do that? Uh, do we have to get any functions? If you are coming from other languages like C, C++, Java, we have this habit of getting functions, right? But here we can run the script directly so we can directly run the uh, code which is console.log, the same code which you write on the browsers. And here I will print hello world, nothing, nothing more, just hello world and what do you think will it work? Uh, I mean, first of all, how do we run this code? So we have written the code, it's time to run it, right? So let's go back to terminal and I'm in this terminal now and I want to run this code. Now the way you can do that is by saying node, that's the command you have to pass and the, the name of the application which is app.js app which is the file. Click on enter and you can see we got hello world. So that's right, we can write our first hello world code like this. The next thing I want to check is how do you add two numbers? Because this is where you will use variables, right? And and we all know JavaScript is a programming language, so it should work here. But just to check how that works, let me just create three variables. I will say var, uh, we can also use let, let is the better way. But let me use var here, uh, var equal to seven, and var b is equal to two, so that's those are the two variables I have. I want to add this two, so I will say c is equal to a plus b, a very simple calculation. And here I want to print the output is, and let me print C, that's it. And you have a choice of using a semicolon, if you can skip it, that's your choice. If you're coming from Java background, you want to use a colon there, a semicolon. If you are coming from, uh, let's say Python, you, you want to avoid it. So JavaScript ha has both the options. In fact, the same option is there with uh, Python as well. So I will say enter and you can see the output is nine. So this works, so you can print hello world, you can add two numbers. But now I want to do something else. Now that's something else is I want to create a simple HTTP service in, in Node.js. See Node.js is famous for web development, right? So, I mean, of course, you, if you are running Node.js, maybe that's your target to learn web development and build backing services. Now for that, you have to first understand what is web service or what is web applications. See, you have a client which is your browser and then you have a web service which will be on a server. Now this server need to have a unique IP address. Normally whatever server you access, maybe it may be google.com, I mean Google server or Facebook server, every server will have the IP address. And the only way to reach there is with the help of IP address. 
But then we don't know about the IP addresses, right? When you go to Google, you don't mention the IP address. What you mention is the domain name. And then we have some DNS servers in between. They will manage this naming conversion. So when you say google.com, uh, they will send requests to a particular IP address. So we have the entire table there. So basically, if you want to access any service or any server, you need to enter the IP address. But then one server can have multiple services, right? So HTTP is one of the service. Maybe you want to access the FTP service. Maybe you want to access the SMTP service. So every service will have a different port number. Uh, so let's say we have a server. Maybe we have multiple servers. Every server will have the different IP address. And each server will have multiple services. And how can you differentiate between these services is with the help of port number. So if you want to reach to a HTTP service or a particular server, you have to mention two things. The first thing you have to mention is the IP address. Then you have to mention the colon and then you have to mention the port number. Uh, so whatever service we will create, we have to do or both. We have to go for the IP address when you want to run this and then you have to also mention the port number. Okay, that, that looks fun. Let me just remove this. So this is empty. I will save this and I will go back to my browser because that's where I want to run this code, right? So I will just right click on my Chrome and here I will say new community mode. Here I will enter the IP address which I want to hit. So the, the service is on the same machine, right? So I, I can go with this address or you can also mention localhost, that's your choice. But then only doing this will not work. You have to also mention the port number, right? So I will say colon and then you have to mention the port number. But which port number I will be using? So you can, so you know, if you go for any, any tutorial online, they will prefer 9000. But since I'm coming from Java background, I have worked on Apache Tomcat, which by default gives you 8080. And for me, it makes much more sense to use this port number. But that's your choice. You can use any port number which you want. You can also use uh, 8001 or 878876. Uh, that's your choice, right? But use something which is easy to remember. And 9000 is easy to remember. Some people use 3000. Uh, but let's go with 8080. I love that port number. And when I say enter, uh, so you can say we got uh, 404. That's the code. Now we got error because we don't have this service running. So let's create a service. So let's go back to Visual Studio and here I want to get a service. So how do you do that? Actually, it's very simple. You just have to use a function called create server. Now create server is a, is a function which will give you a service, which will create a service for you or which will get a server for you. And this server takes a function. So whenever you call this server, it will execute a function. And let me say function. Now, if you're coming from JavaScript, you know what I'm talking about, but this is, we are passing a function inside a function. And this function will accept two parameters. Now, the first parameter is something which you received from the client. And then the second parameter is something you want to send to the client, right? So when you have a client server architecture, a client sends a request and server sends a response. So you, you need two objects here, request and response. Oh, there was extra semicolon there. Let me complete that here. Okay, so we got a function here and then this function will will do something. So we have to send the response back to the client, right? Now, how do you send a response back to the client? So for that, you have to say res dot and you have to mention a function which is right. And in this double quotes, you have to mention something. So let's say I want to print welcome back alien. That's it. I just want to return this on the on the browser. But will this work? Let's try. So let's go back to our command line and here I will say node app JS, but we got an error. It says create server is not defined or oh, that's weird. We are defining it here, right? Uh, the thing is create server is a function which you are calling, right? So we have to uh, mention where this create server exists. So we have to, we have to call it from somewhere. So create server is a function available in a module called HTTP. Now what is module? See, when you talk about JavaScript or when you talk about a Node.js, it has multiple modules available. Now some of the modules are inbuilt and some of the modules which you can create. So it helps you to achieve a concept of modularity where you can have different components working together. Uh, so let's say if you want to build the application, connect these three modules, build an application, something like uh, making a pizza right just mix it up and you will get something new uh, so we have to use a module and the module name is http now how do you include that module how do you fetch that module now for that you have to first create a variable let's say http and you have to accept the module right so for that you have to use a function called require and in this require you can mention the module name which is http so you have to mention 
require function and you're saying hey i want http module which will which you can save here in http now this name can be anything doesn't matter but it makes sense to use this now once you got your module okay we got some warning here it says uh, remove declare okay because we have not we are not using that http yet so let's use it so here in this create server you need to if you want to call create server you have to use http dot create server because create server belongs to http our job is done let's try now let's go back to our terminal let me just clear the terminal first and let me say node app dot js enter okay something happened uh, you can see there is no error now and if i go back to the browser and if i say refresh Okay, so you can say it is trying to connect and we got 404 again. That's weird. That's weird. So what went wrong? Uh, see, the thing is, we are we have created this server, but then we have not mentioned the port number. So this server has to listen to the port number, which is 8080. And to do that, you will simply say listen after this bracket after this uh, function. You have to say dot listen and mention the port number 8080 and simply say save i hope this will work this time let's go back and say node app.js uh, okay there's no error and this time you can see you're not even getting the next uh, prompt it is simply is waiting for your your work to be completed let's go back to the browser and say refresh uh, i hope this will work okay something is not working uh, okay what went wrong so go back to our code See, when you say res.write, you're saying welcome back aliens. What if I say this is working, okay? So this is ready to send the welcome back alien to the client, but it is not sending it. The thing is, you, you, you may want to send multiple statements, right? It's not just one statement. If you look at the browsers or if you go to any website, you will see multiple strings, you have multiple content. Uh, some are images, some are strings, some are text, or some are, uh, some are numbers. So you want to send all those things together. But in this case, I'm simply saying one, one statement. So my server is actually waiting for more statements. But we have to inform the server, hey, that's the end. I don't want to send, send anything else. So you have to also mention end at the end. So when you don't want to send anything more, just say end. Uh, after doing the changes, uh, let's restart the app. Let's go back here and we got the output. So as you can see, we got the output as welcome back alien and that's how it works right so we have to say end we have to say, we have to mention end here otherwise if you just want to send one statement uh, instead of using end you can actually write end here that works that works in fact you can also mention the header uh, see when you send a response it's always better to have i mean of course you can send the data but also send the header information uh, maybe something like the status uh, so whenever you get the response you have to send status 200 when you get error you can send status in 400s uh, so 404 is file not found and then there are different type of headers as well now how do you send the header so you can say res dot you have to say write head and in this bracket you have to mention two things you can mention the status and you can also mention the content type you want to send so the content type i want to send is okay so i will say content type txt slash html so basically we are saying whatever i'm sending is of type html and uh, uh, and HT, uh, text in html sometimes you want to send the data in json format so you can mention the json format there or you can you can mention xml format there so that's your choice what you are sending uh, and if you are coming from other languages like python uh, java you do the same thing there as well you mention the content type when you work on the web service so yeah, that's it from this video where we have seen how do you getting how, how do you get started with node.js creating a simple hello world code then addition of two numbers and then seeing a simple web service so i hope you enjoyed this video let me in the comment section and wait for the upcoming videos Bye bye